Hi, Bonnie McClendon here with Full Circle Records and Daryl Thomas, our latest gospel recording artist who will be debuting with your first single, Daryl, in the spring. And what's the title of that? It's, uh, the title of the song is uh, Hey Daddy. Hey Daddy, all right. It's uh, a great song, Daryl. And did you write that? No, I didn't write that. There was uh, one of my good friends out of Atlanta who wrote that song. Do you write? Yes, I do write my own songs, yes. Oh, oh, awesome. How many have you written so far? I've written about four to six songs already. Mm -hmm. Four to six songs. And you just get them by inspiration, or do you sit down and say, I'm going to write a song today? Or I sit down and I start writing, and I just think of things about my life and where God has brought me from and how all the rough times and all the things that got me through the rough times and those songs and those words just come to me and God just gives me words to be able to put together and it's just one of those things that's really mm -hmm. awesome. Well Ninja has joined us for the interview and he's a, he's a part of Full Circle Records too. Did um, did you write uh, uh, when you were younger also, um, or has this some, is this a talent and a gift you've discovered? It's something that I discovered and it was really exciting when I wrote my first song, mm -hmm. and it sounded so good. I was so excited about it, and I knew right then God was like, "Yes, you can do this." Uh -huh. You can do this because sometimes I felt down and I kind of had like a like a mind block, you know what I'm saying? Like a <laughs> lyric block where I was, where I was like, where's the words coming from? I can't get them. I can't get them. So mm -hmm. then I had to stop and you know stop for a minute and to focus. And that's when God started to give me the words and I started writing them down and to see how they sound and everything. It was it was good. That's it was really good. Oh, that's really good. good. You could say like God. Oh, that was yes, good. Yes, yes. I like, okay, yeah. I like, I like that. Let me get my pen and write it down. You know? All right. What was the first song you ever wrote? The, the first song I wrote was I Found a Love in You. Can you sing a little bit of it? You remember it? I found a love in you, Jesus. No one could make me feel like you do. I found a love in you, Jesus. No one could make me feel like you do. And those words was just like, oh my God, I like that. And I was like, where's my pen? Where's my pen? And I started writing it down and everything. And I started getting my chorus down, part down. And the next thing you know, I went, started getting the verses and everything. And started tweaking a little bit. and. Make so to make it sound, make it make sense and everything. And yeah. I, I was trying to make everything rhyme, you know. Uh -huh. like, okay. And then I started learning more and more about writing. Everything doesn't have to rhyme as yeah. long as it makes sense. Yeah. And you know, it, it's almost like you're writing a story. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're writing a story, mm -hmm. and then you come in right into it, it leads you right into the chorus, and then it makes it. And the timing has to be right too. Mm -hmm. And so I learned all of that, and it was it was like when it, when it started sounding good, I was like, yes, okay, I can do it. Uh -huh. I can do this. And then next thing you know, I got the pen was just... Yeah. You know, the gifts and the calling of the God are without repentance. Uh, yes, yes. And, yes. you know, when you walk in your gift, a lot of times mm -hmm. God will add gifts to you. Yes. And songwriting is probably one of those he added oh, yes. to you. Oh, yes, yes, so you, 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 you have some good lyrics. I like the lyrics to the songs I've heard so Thank far. You. Anyway. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, where would you like to see yourself in three to five years, say? I would like to see myself traveling all over the world, ministering to God's people mm -hmm. through music. Yeah. And helping to give people encourage, encouragement mm -hmm. and to give them hope. Mm -hmm. And through my music and through my lyrics, and I hope that and pray that some of them that be be able to be blessed by it and to be encouraged by the words and just give them give them hope you know like I said give them hope and give them something to look forward to and to be able to just move on and, and to have you know have a better life get through their lives yeah get, get through, through the, the tough times right yeah yes because we all have them 
Yes. And God is so good. You look back and you wonder how you got over mm. how you did it. But yes. you know, I remember songs that became like anthems to me through mm -hmm. different tests and trials and yes. I know that you, you you know, yours will be that way for many people too, God is in all it. over God the world. Is in it. Because yes. God's a comforter. Yes, and yes. that's one of the ways he comforts you through yes. music. Yes. Remember Saul and that's David, right. right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. And uh David was some psalmist, I'm telling you. Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> he could, he, he, he could, could play. He could play and he could write. The yes. words in the Psalms are beautiful, meaningful. I find myself, he's, I couldn't say it better. Yeah. I couldn't describe what I'm going through mm -mm. any better than the way he has written it. One of my favorite Psalms is Psalm 34. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 uh, uh. Let us magnify the Lord together. Magnify yes. the Lord together with mm -hmm. me. But I don't want to get too far off. Uh, when uh, you write and uh, you you put your your music down, do you try to sing it uh, and record it in on a little recorder or something? I so use I use my little phone uh -huh. as a little recorder, <laughs> and um, I sing a little bit, and I want to hear how it sounds, and I play it back. Yeah. And so I can remember it because, right. so if I take a break, I want to be able to remember it and I can continue on from where I started, you know, where I started from. So I had, there were times where I didn't know how to record, I was singing, there was some songs that I've forgotten that was really good that I could write down yes. and everything, but I just didn't record it and I was like, I, that was a lesson I had to learn. So if I, something catches me and I hear it and I need to record it and sing it so I can have it recorded. So when I come back to it, I can be able to uh, write it down on paper and then get my um, lyrics and get the, my verse and mm -hmm. chorus down and everything, to, and um, it'll be uh, yeah, that'll good. be preserved. Yes, it, yes, that'll be preserved. Yeah, because yes. I know in the shower for me, right. yeah, sometimes <laughs> I get inspired. I'm just going. I'm I'm moved. I'm I'm feeling the spirit is anointed. And I, the next morning, that night, I can't remember what the song was. Yeah, it, it, it happens. You've got to capture it. it and, and, and you know, it always, you, you always learn, find lyrics, and lyrics always come to you in some of the strangest places. Oh, yeah. You can be in a grocery store, mm -hmm. you can be driving in your car, or you can be sometimes at work, <laughs> you know, and uh, you might be on the phone or, you know, talking and something, a little, a little melody may come to your yeah. head. What do you do with that in those cases? What I do, I keep singing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I repetitive, keep singing it. Repetitive. Yes. So you I re don't? Yeah, I, rep I rep repetitively sing it. I keep singing it and Get keep it singing in your it spirit. until I find a piece of paper and a pen somewhere. <laughs> and I write it down and I'll keep it with me. <laughs> and then I'll take it home and try to continue it. Well, well you can sing. I, I, I definitely believe you're anointed. I, I believe that uh, the world will feel the anointing that you release through your music. Um, what would you like to tell people beyond your singing and your writing ability? Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell people? What can would you like people to know about you on a personal level that they don't know already? On a personal level, I don't. I don't like scary movies. I do not like scary movies. Uh huh. I, uh -uh. I like, like action movies, uh -huh. but I just something about scary movies. I just can't do that. And uh -huh. I'll eat, I'll eat cereal. Don't even matter what time of day it is. Uh huh. I get a bowl of cereal and I sit down and I watch my cartoons or whatever. And <laughs> hey, you can't, you never can get too old for that. I, I know. I now that doesn't surprise me about you and cartoons because I know one of your passions is children. Yes. What yes. Is, what What have you been doing uh, regarding children? Well, children, I just got back from Cincinnati uh -huh. for Thanksgiving, uh -huh. uh, singing at the Ronald McDonald House. What was children, that? At the Ronald McDonald House uh -huh. in Cincinnati. And um, one of my um, friends over there has a child that goes to the hospital, which is next door. And we um, spoke with her, and um, we had plans to uh, come down up there for Thanksgiving. So we um, made plans to uh, meet them over there at the Ronald McDonald House. And, and I called there and, and wanted to go sing, you know, sing some Christmas songs for the children. Awesome. And it was it was uh, it was a life changing experience for me. 
How did they being receive around, you? Oh, we had a ball. The children. Yes, we had a ball. I turn. I think I turned into a kid myself. Mm -hmm. I had so much fun with the kids, and we were doing Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, and um, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, and it was so funny. This little girl. Mm -hmm. I was singing this song, and this little girl, she's so precious, and um, she was standing there. She, she looked to be about two, three years old, and she was there at the Ronald McDonald house. And so I started singing a song, and she just stood there, and she was just standing there watching me while I was singing. And I reached my hand out while I was singing to her, and she came, and she, she came a little closer, and she ended up coming and sitting on my lap. Mm -hmm. I was singing the song, mm -hmm. and I was looking at her while we were singing the song. She was singing with me too, mm -hmm. and it was we had a ball, and, and um, we just it was just awesome.